so this is angular 20 tutorial part 20 so till now like our basic topics are completed some login methods also we have seen login with hardcode credential login with api then jwt login also along with jwt login we have seen the interceptor also now the same project we are using let me just show you the code also so we created three component login layout and the dashboard in the login component we have integrated our we have created our reactive form then we integrated our api call and once api uh, once the login is success we are navigating him to the dashboard page and we created the interceptor also because the apis which we were using over here this was authenticated api so if we send the data uh, token what we received from the log login api then only it will give the response so that interceptor also we have seen right let me just save it yeah now if you see the routes so we have dashboard route now and login route only two components are there for now so by default only login components there currently we are not logged in but if i try to access this dashboard route see i'm still able to access see here log off button is coming but no login username is not coming right let me see the local storage also i think we might have yeah we have it so let's clear it also right so still we are not logged in but still i am able to access the dashboard page this should not happen unless user is not logged in i should not be able to access the uh, particular page after the login so for this means we have to restrict our pages unless user is not logged in we should not allow him to access our page so for that in angular we have guards just the normal meaning whatever guard you are familiar with similar to that before this route gets activated we can execute a function and there we can write the logic to check if the user is logged in or not like that okay now so once we are doing the login so we need to store something in the local storage so for now we are storing the token so means when we are storing the token once user is successfully logged in then only we are storing the token so for now we can consider like if the token is present we can we can assume like user is logged in right so we have to write a functionality such that whenever we are redirecting to any page if the user is logged in or not we will check like if the local storage has the data or not if yes we will allow him to access the page otherwise we will redirect him back to the login page so to achieve this we have to create a guard fine so how do we create a guard now we have to we have to create the guard so what i will do in app folder i will create one more folder let's say guards and now there are multiple guards so i will like explain like how do we create that also i have opened the new terminal on this particular folder ng generate guard and i'm naming the i'm giving a name as auth enter so there are multiple types of guard can activate can deactivate can deactivate child can match and again resolve is also guard that we create some another way but when you run the command to create the guard these are the four options we get so now you can just use the uh, arrow buttons to uh, select particular now we are going to implement can activate so you just need to enter a space so that that option gets selected and you click on the enter so it has created a guard so if i open that you see this is nothing but an arrow function right interceptor was also an arrow function and guard is also an arrow function so before angular 16 guard and interceptor both were service but now these are the arrow function fine now we have created the guard now this guard we need to add it on the route which route we need to protect on that particular route we will add the guard so which type of guard can activate colon we can add multiple guard on a particular route so that's why auth guard array we have to pass we can add multiple guard on a particular route so that's why we have an array multiple guards you can add now let me just add a console so that i can show you when this guard get executed and here i will simply print this okay or let's add a debugger debugger get lets you understand it very properly because it will stop the execution over there let's go back so currently i'm on the login page let's say i manually try to navigate dashboard see wait why my function didn't get executed is it not saved let me save it proper let's reload one more time something is wrong why guard is not getting executed 
we have added a guard over here we created a guard also why this guard is not getting executed auth guard only no we can add auth guard why it is executing dashboard directly let me check one more time so i think in angular 20 we have some changes in the guard so if i'm adding connect to it over here on the parent route it is supposed to be working can activate okay let me comment this add a comma over here let's save see now it started executing but if i'm adding that on the child it's not executing let me remove the interceptor debugger and the dashboard too right so i think in angular 20 we have little bit change but previously on the child route also we used to add this okay but now i think uh, just like this now instead of can activate we have can match so that works on the child but can activate doesn't work on the child can match will work see it is executing okay so can match is executing but can activate is not executing on the child route so we have to use parent route uh, we have to use the parent component parent route only so that means over here okay anyway so normally we do it on the over here only we don't add it on the each child we do it over there only but i wanted to showcase on the particular component also anyway now whenever our dashboard component we are executing before this route gets activated before that our function will execute now here we have to write the logic to check if user is logged in or not so how do we know that user is logged in or not so once we are at the login time, we are storing some data into the local storage. So if local storage has this data, we can know that user is logged in. So we will read that data. So in our guard, we will read constant is logged in. Now local instead of set uh, instead of set item, now we have to read the data. So that will be get item get item needs only one function one parameter and here we will add a null check if logged in is there means not equal to null if local storage data is not there by default it will be null if it is not null we will simply return true if it is null we have to redirect him back to the login page so for that we have to create we have to inject our router also so since we are inside the function so we have to create local variable router is equal to inject what we will inject our router service fine then here this dot router sorry not this we have a local variable so router dot navigate by url and where we have to navigate so slash login but by default the return type of this function is boolean so we need to return false also after this fine let's check it now let's uh, navigate to dashboard so once we navigate to the dashboard our uh, can activate function will execute see we are checking uh, the local storage data currently it is null so obviously it will go to the else block and we are simply redirecting him back to the login page so if user is not logged in user is not able to access that particular page but let's say from over here if i commented this now my guard won't execute and i will be able to access the page see now if i try dashboard now i'm able to access got it so by adding the guard you are checking if the user is logged in or not if user logged in currently after login we are storing the data into local storage in your case you will be storing into session storage cookies or even service also wherever you store because we have to on the browser level we have to or the, on the code level somewhere we have to store it. like user is logged in right username user id somewhere something we store so that only we have to check it over here in the guard and based on that we return true or else we return back to the login so this is your 
can activate guard which will help you to check if user is authenticated or not if not we will send him uh, we will again redirect him back to the login page just like this can activate guard here we are checking if user is logged in or not again role based guard also there there we check if particular page user is trying to access and the user logged in role is having that access or not so that also role we check so that part we will cover in the advanced section again just like this series one more series i will be starting in some days that will be only focused on the advanced part okay again so that's it uh, what i wanted to explain in this particular episode if you are new please do like and subscribe do add comment and in the description you can find a link to join my whatsapp group make sure you join that also you can directly connect with me with your queries also thank you that's it